Real quick, before we start, this is a Canada Goose jacket. I want to show you where to get it the cheapest way possible, and it's down there in the description. Um, click that link, you'll take you where to get it fastest, uh, the fastest and the cheapest price possible, because these are expensive jackets. I'm going to talk a little bit at the end of the video how to make sure that they're not fake. You want to be careful, because there are a lot of counterfeiters. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the first resistance and today we're going to be reviewing this jacket. It's a Chateau Canada Goose Parka. Now uh, this Parka is extremely warm and as you can see I'm out here actually in Utah. It's about 26 degrees out here right now so it's not incredibly cold but it is, you know, it's chilly. Um, I've worn this a couple, last couple days. It's been, you know, there's a couple days where it's been like 4 degrees and 9 degrees outside at night and I've been wearing this around and it is completely warm. I'm going to take this hood off so you can hear me better, in case that uh, hinders the sound, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, as you can see, it is uh, mid-length, goes down just past where your pockets kind of end. Um, down here, has uh, plenty of pockets, fleece lined here and here. And it has a pocket right here on the side, which is very nice, a zipper. Um, as well as plenty of um, pockets on the inside, which I will show you. If you um, haven't noticed, also... This is uh, real coyote fur. Now, people, some people have a problem with this because they're saying they're killing uh, animals to make the coat. Well, this coyote fur, you know, it doesn't really freeze. It doesn't stick together like most other um, synthetic uh, or, you know, furs would. Um, so it's, uh, it definitely works really well. And I think for the functionality, it's not just like a fashion statement. It actually is for a purpose. So I would, um, that's why I like it. It works very, very well. The hood also, back here, it has a thing where you can pull on it to adjust the, uh, you know, the depth of the hood. So, you know, if you don't want it all up here, you can pull on that strap. It'll um, pull it back. The other thing I like about this jacket is this can extend all the way up to there. You could even unroll this if it was super, super cold, you know, and cover your face almost completely. So, um, anyways, uh, the quality of the jacket is suburb. Um, there's there's uh, the seams, everything. I really like... Also, another thing I like about the jacket is these, uh, I'm not sure what uh, material this is, I can't, I can't remember, but anyways, it, you know, there's a cuff there, it keeps wind from going up into your jacket, the hood is insulated. Um, the zipper, I mean, let me unbutton this real quick. This jacket is just, I've been wearing it, you know, like I said, like it, right now it's 26 degrees outside, and it's, um, I'm not cold at all, I can't feel anything as far as cold at all. I'm, I'm warm, the hood, it's one of my favorite features. But this zipper, I don't know if you can see this, but this zipper is um, a very robust zipper. That thing is not going to break anytime soon. I don't know if you can see that at, at all, but it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so yeah, as far as the other pockets, you got pockets here. You got some more pockets down here as well as on the other side in the same position. So there's plenty of uh, places where you can put uh, stuff, keys, phones, wallets, you know, since you can't really, it's hard to reach into your pocket when this is zipped up, you want to have access to those things. You can put them, you know, in the pockets, in the zipper pockets here up here. Anyways, guys, uh, this is an expensive uh, parka or jacket. <laughs> it's, it is a parka. It is definitely one of the warmer parkas that you can get. The, um, this is made, I mean, you can wear this in like negative 20, negative 30 degree weather and you're still going to be warm. Um, I've been wearing it around and it's not too warm. I mean, I'm not doing any activity right now or walking around or hiking right now. So at 26 degrees, it would probably get kind of warm if I was if I was doing some activities. But just kind of standing around or, or short walks, it's not bad at all. It's actually very, very comfortable and warm. I'm not in the Arctic or Antarctic or anything. Like I said, you know, I'm in Utah. So um, it is, is a jacket you want to wear or a parka that you can wear in temperatures, you know, 30 degrees and below and not be too hot, as long as you're not hiking, you know, strenuous hikes or running or jogging or something, you wouldn't want to do anything like that in this in this temperature um, or walking long, long distances, you know, but if you're walking from your car to, you know, your, to your, your house or, your, or to your work or, you know, just kind of leisurely strolls through nature, um, you know, you can wear this 30 degrees and below and not be overheated. Now, if you're on some pretty strenuous hikes, that's one, that's another matter altogether and you're going to want to go lighter in that kind of temperature. You know, you get down to 10 degrees or less, yeah, you're gonna, you can do any kind of activity in this and you're gonna stay warm, but not be too hot. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description. That's another thing I wanna talk to you about is the price of this jacket is normally $825, okay? 
okay? And you're gonna have a hard time finding anyone that's gonna keep this open, you know? Um, anyways, you can find this jacket for $825 in any of the uh, like department stores that carry it, which are, are kind of hard to find. Um, but you're gonna pay tax on that, okay? You're gonna pay a, probably $890-ish, depending on which state you live in, in the United States. So um, keep that in mind. Now, the thing I'm gonna warn you about is online sales. Online sales are scary with this kind of jacket because there are a lot of counterfeiters, okay? There's people who can make this, you, know, you can see the badge on the shoulder. There are some counterfeiter companies that make these pretty well. They look pretty similar. And you don't want to buy this from any retailer. I got the, um, I got this one actually off of a certain site on a seller from a seller on Amazon who actually does a really good job of making sure that he's supplying the real things. Um, that store, I'll send, I'll put a link down in the description for this store. And then he sells this, this particular model for about 745, which isn't too much cheaper, but it's not so much cheaper that you can know that it's not fake. You know, like if you buy a jacket for 200 bucks, that's one of these Canada Goose jackets, you know for sure that it's fake. Um, I'm going to show you how you know that it's real in a second. I'm going to have to take this off and show you, but um, Canada Goose does a couple different things. One of the things is the badge. You can see that the, the maple leaves and everything on there are the right shape. You, you can go compare it on their website. They show you how to compare reels and fakes. The other thing is this, um, let me just pull this off really quick. Try not to. There's actually a hologram that they put in their tags. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. But there's a little hologram right here on this tag, and it's hard to see on the camera. But if you shift it around to different uh, different uh, views, that hologram actually changes to different um, polar bears and just different different uh, or not polar. I'm not sure if it's a polar bear or what it is, but it changes, and you can see different images on there. And the fake ones do not have that hologram, so you can feel safe buying it from this supplier for this price. You're gonna pay 745 for this particular model. No taxes, no shipping usually. And so you get it for about 150 to $160 cheaper. Um, you'll probably get it quicker actually as well than having to go find a store somewhere. Anyways guys, um, it's a great jacket. If you have to go to the store and buy it, great, go buy it at the store. Just make sure that you, make sure wherever you buy it, when you get it, you check to make sure that it has those markings. The badge is correct, the holograph, uh, hologram is there, the holographic decal, whatever you want to call that thing is there. So you know that you're actually getting a legitimate Canada use because you don't want to pay $700 or $500 even and get a fake jacket, especially since this jacket is made for extreme temperatures. You don't want to be taking a fake out into the middle of the Arctic or even in Utah, you know, it gets pretty cold here at night. You don't want to take a, a fake jacket out somewhere and then freeze to death because you have a fake, you know? You gotta be careful about those kinds of things. So I'm not advocating buying online, but this particular seller is a safe uh, place to buy and you will get a um, an authentic Canada Goose jacket. Just, I would still make sure that you check those things because there are different listings on Amazon. So you might not get this particular seller when you buy on Amazon. So make sure you get those, uh, make sure you have the right emblem and the right holographic uh, thing down there. And as until next time, um, please subscribe, leave me some comments. Um, like I said, this, the, 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 this is duck down, it isn't goose in this model. I think the Mantra and the Expedition jackets are the only ones that have actually goose feathers or goose down in their jacket, but this jacket is definitely very, very warm. It's very comfortable. It has everything you're gonna want it to do. Um, and you, and uh, about the coyote fur, I wouldn't sweat about it because it actually is functional. It's not just a trophy piece, you know? Like, I don't know. For me, that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, then go buy somewhere else. But um, I, I think it actually works very well. So anyways, guys, until next time, please leave me some comments and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later.